This video describes a new procedure added to Stack Graphics 19 for creating Venn and Euler diagrams. The purpose of Venn and Euler diagrams is to represent sets and their relationships. In order to create a diagram, we need to define sets and sizes. A Stat Graphics sample data file called 93 cars contains 93 different makes and models of automobiles. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to classify each automobile in several ways. First off, there'll be a classification called car. That will be true for all 93 automobiles. The second classification will be called domestic. That will be true if the car is made by a U.S. manufacturer and false otherwise. The third classification is rear. This will be true if the car has rear wheel drive. And the final classification will be manual. This will be true if the car has manual transmission. To create the Van Euler plot for this data, I'm going to go to Stack Graphics and set up a data sheet with two columns. There'll be the set column that will define disjoint class combinations, and there'll be the size column telling me how many automobiles fall in each of those sets. The first set, the set in the first row, is car and domestic and rear and manual. That means cars having all those features. In the data set, there are a total of four cars, which are domestic and rear wheel drive and manual transmission. The second set is car and domestic and rear, but that also means not manual because these need to be disjoint sets. So there are five cars in my data set that are domestic, rear wheel drive, but have automatic transmissions, not manual transmissions. The third set is car and domestic and manual, but not rear wheel drive. There are 18 of those cars. And then car and rear and manual, but not domestic. There are five of those. In the fifth row, you'll see the set car and domestic. That's a count of all domestic cars not contained in the previous categories. So it's domestic cars that don't have rear wheel drive and don't have manual transmission. There are 21 of those. Then there's car and rear but not domestic and not manual. There's two of those. Car and manual, but not rear and not domestic. There are 34 of those. And finally, we have an eighth set, car. Those are the cars not contained in the first seven sets. Cars that aren't domestic, don't have rear wheel drive, and aren't manual transmission. There are four of those. If you add up all these sizes, you'll see that it equals 93, the number of automobiles in my data set. To run the Stack Graphics Van Euler procedure, you need to install both R and Java. Because the Stack Graphics procedure uses the Van Euler R package written by Leland Wilkinson. If you've not installed R on your computer before, Stack Graphics 19 has a menu item labeled Interfaces. This provides the interfaces to both R and Python. In this case, we want to use the Venn and Euler diagrams library in R. There is a menu item installation and configuration that will help you install R on your computer. The first step is to push the install button, which will take you to the R project website and let you download and install R. R, by the way, is free. 
and there's nothing to pay. It's uh, public domain. You can use it uh, without any charge. You'll also need to go down and push the button here labeled install then Euler and R Java. Those are two R libraries one that accesses the Van Euler procedures and the second that does the interface between R and Java. In addition to this you'll need to be sure that you have a current version of Java installed on your computer in order for this procedure to run properly. I've now loaded the set definitions and sizes into the Stack Graphics datasheet. At this point I'll go to Interfaces on the top menu and select Venn and Euler diagrams. There is a field for the column containing the set definitions and a field for the column containing the sizes. There are a number of different tables and graphs I can ask for. I'll ask for them all. Stack Graphics will now write a script, send it to R, and R will create the Venn and Euler diagram. In particular, this is the diagram generated by R. There's a large circle. That's cars. There's a purple circle. That's the number of cars, the proportion of cars that have manual transmissions. There's a blue circle, which is the rear wheel drive cars, and a green circle showing how many cars are domestic. You can see various overlaps between the circles. In particular, this bluish area here represents the number of cars that have manual transmissions, rear wheel drive, and are also domestic. The plot generated by R is nice, but you can't manipulate the labels, not the way you can in an ordinary stack graphics graph. So we've redrawn the Venn and Euler diagram using the solution obtained by the Venn Euler package. This we can modify. In particular, if I press the right mouse button and go to Paint Options, I can ask it to add set values to the diagrams. That's the number of observations in various sets. I can also have it match the R colors which will give me a representation similar to what um, you saw from R. I can then start moving the definitions around, moving the numbers to the locations where they belong, and pretty soon I can get a pretty good picture. After moving the labels around, and resizing some of the numbers, you can see the result I came up with. It labels each of the circles and also puts the sizes in the appropriate locations. Now you can probably tell from this picture that the areas of the various overlapping sets don't perfectly match the sizes of those intersections. The Venn Euler package tries to get as good a representation as it can, but in general it's not possible to size everything perfectly. Back in Stack Graphics again, there's one more pane we might want to look at. It's the Diagnostics pane. It's actually a table of residuals showing us the percentage difference between the actual size of each set and how it's represented in the diagram. You can see, for example, the set that's least well represented is the car set. It's about 6% larger than it really should be. As I said, it's not possible to get the diagram perfect. This gives you an idea of how much we've missed 